Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Mason the Mason. In this video, I'm going to show you how to lay a brick wall. So, I did another brick wall over there. Did that all. That was a little more complicated. I had the corners and stuff. But this is probably the easiest way to uh, show you how to set up a brick wall. I mean, it's only, what, not even six foot, and it's only 35 courses. So, it's pretty much the easiest wall you could ever do. The first thing I did was, uh, I know that these brick are on sixes on my brick ruler, which I'll show you the brick ruler. There's a couple different sizes. There's different rulers as well, but this is how we do it with me. So there's all these numbers. So what sixes mean is six, five, eight, four, three, twos. We're on sixes with these size brick. So all you gotta do, you wanna start from the top. You never wanna go from the bottom up because if you go from the bottom up, you're not gonna hit your top. So you wanna come from the top down. And if you notice over here, can you come over and look at this? I marked all the sixes. Six, 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 all the way down to the floor. That way I know if I have to adjust my height as I'm coming up. And I marked them all. You don't really have to do this, but I like to do it. I don't like to think after I get everything set up. And I even marked the courses. I got 35. That helped me uh, figure out how many brick I needed. So I got every single brick I needed. And uh, I needed 263 whole brick. I got them right here stocked up. And uh, I also put the numbers on here because I like to know, I, I don't want to count every time I need to wall ties. So on course number five, I'll put wall ties, wall ties, wall ties, wall ties. And that way I just know what's going on all the time. I also put the marks over here going up the wall, but I did not number them because I don't need to do that twice. All right, after that was all done, I know I have to jam up off of this, right? So I put my brick here and I space them out going across. So when you do that, make sure this is about the size of your joint. Right there, two of those, boom, boom, all the way down through. Then you got to the wall, oof. So I got all my pieces. So I measured this and I got my piece, and I know I need, uh, what is this, first course, I need 18 of these. So they are three inch pieces, right? And then, uh, yeah, so that's, that's it, I need 18 three inch pieces for all my odd courses. Then I put a brick on here, and I made sure I was my half height away, three and three quarters, measured that, and I got my seven and a quarter pieces, right? Boom, and I made 17 of those. So, got all my pieces figured out because I put the coursing out there. And uh, that's pretty much all the thinking. So I got all my halves, all my threes, my sevens, everything ready to go, all my whole brick. And I don't have to do no more thinking anymore. All I gotta do now is build this side up. I'm probably I'm gonna lay my first course through, and I'm gonna lay the outsides up about four courses, and then I'm gonna show you how to put the story poles up. Alrighty, so I laid three brick here, right? I'll show you how to spread the mortar and all out here in a minute, but we're just gonna talk about this part. So first thing I'm gonna do, you see me? I going to make sure I'm over here good chasing that wall. I actually had the mark there. All right, good enough. That way his board can come over and hide my brick because I got a gap here. All right, now make sure we're good on height. I'm just gonna use my trowel for that. Perfect, right? Now we're gonna level across. Make sure we're right in there. Yep, right in the lines there. All right, I hit the button quick. Once you level across, now we're gonna make sure that it's level this way. Okay, now all you gotta do, is make sure you're an inch out for your air gap. So we'll tap that in. There's your inch, I good on my line. Yep, on the line. And then you're gonna wanna, I'm just gonna do this one roughly. 
in the middle, and on the end, also an inch. Then you just kind of straight edge this thing. And when you straight edge these, you've got to kind of pick them up because they'll, if you push them, they'll just get pushed right back. So you got to pick them up a little bit and slide them over. Okay, double check. That's it for your first course. Now, second course. Something that sucks about the brick I'm using is there's no holes in them. So you actually don't have to use that much mud and they're kind of hard to beat down if you get too high. But luckily, I don't have to do that. Now, take our half. Oh, see that? Don't do that, there's words there, okay? Half. When you do this too, you kind of like slide down them so you try to not push your other ones back so and you can also you can either use your palm like this or your fingers to roll them where they're supposed to go uh, and I am just a hair big on my joint so we're gonna try and squish them together okay Now you do the same thing, but there's only one difference this time. Well, one extra step, I should say, not one difference. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make sure that our coursing is good. We're good on height. Now we're gonna come over here. It's gotta come down. Clean up that mess I made. Make sure we're good this way. Okay. Way not okay. Now what we're gonna do is now either you can plumb down like this, which it should equal the same thing. So you're gonna plumb it, make sure that brick is plumb right there. Now it should be an inch away still, which it is. And you're gonna do the same thing over here. Can't even see, it's so dark in this basement. Okay, you also gotta plumb down this side, out your back. Plum and plum. And then you just straight edge those. Again, you're gonna pick this one up and move it over because it will not, it'll just keep getting pushed back. That's how you build your corners. I'm only gonna go up two more courses here. But that's how you do it every single time. What is that, three steps? Level this way, level this way, and plumb down. And then also double check, you maintain your height as you're going up your corner. All right, so I built both sides here, right? Four high. Um, the only thing is I am not wasting time putting a string line up for these first two courses. So I am gonna actually lay them in with my level because there's really no point, I mean, can't even fit it in there so I'll lay these two courses and then I'll put my string line up so yep there's the cameraman my cousin Walker yep. this is called a wing wham we're gonna put for the story pull up so I got two screws two by four and an L shape and a piece of plywood holding that together so what this is gonna do is sit pretty much right there and we're gonna get the pull to go down to this corner. We're gonna reach up as high as we can go. So first what we did was, I got my pole here, right? And I got my level. We made sure that it was plumb. And we put it against this wing wham here, screwed it in. Then, before we clamped it, Walker held me real close, oops, shadow, real close to the corner there. And, I uh, made sure we were good this way, which we are. So this one's ready. That's my outside corner there. 
and I'm ready to put a string line on this pole here. So that one's set up on this side, and this one over here is different. Since it's we got a jam wall over here, that can pretty much go anywhere close to the wall, like that. And uh, all we gotta do is make sure that it's plumb uh, this ways. So I'll show you that in a second. So all we gotta do with this one was make sure we were plumb this way, cause this, like uh, this way, doesn't really matter. We just need to make sure they're off wall cause we're pulling the string line along that. So as long as it's straight, it's good. Just because we're going to, we're just that good. It's also plumb that way anyway. You don't really have to have it plumb this side. It's not a corner, it's an inside uh, lead. So now we're ready to put the string line up. One thing we gotta do different though, is we gotta put something against the bottom of this so it doesn't kick out when we pull the string. So I'll show you that here in a second. Take a line pin, shove it in here as far as you can go so it doesn't kick out when you're pulling it. See that? And that joint, it won't go. Now we're good to put a string line up. So the only thing that sucks about this since I'm on this corner is uh, I can't get my line behind the pole there unless I kick it out, which I don't really feel like doing. So I'm just going to lay these two courses with my level as well and then I'll show you how to put the string line up. Well just this course and then I'll show you how to put the string line up. Alright for this part all you need is a string line and two line blocks. So this part's a little different but I uh, cut this so it's when you hook it, it's not as long as that pole there. So we're gonna take it around the back, like that, and put it right down on that brick. You see that in there? Put it right down on the brick. You're hooked here. So, let me see the camera. You just hold the flashlight. So, yeah. Right around the back like that. Right onto the, the brick, right? And now I'm gonna pull it. You gotta keep tension on this or it'll fall off or pull it to the other side. And you don't gotta go tight. I'm only going eight brick. So what is that? Like six feet. Right there. Just a little, just a little tug. Nothing crazy. And hook that on there. Still pretty tight. See that? Makes the noise. It's a guitar string. Good stuff, good stuff. Chasing that good. A little high on that brick that I laid before, but we're okay. Oh, I'm a little low over here. This fell off. See what I'm talking about the tension? It fell off because I didn't keep the tension on there. And this, you kind of release the tension, right? Pull, and then you can move the string up wherever you want to go. So take the tension off, pull your string up. Ah, uh, here. And I kicked it out. Sometimes it takes a minute. That's okay. That's pretty much it with that. Now your string's up, we're ready to spread some mud. One more time, let's, right, let's hit the button. Now. Get a nice little spot to roll it. In, out, in, out. Twist in your hand. You can get a pile like that over to your wall. Out here, cut along the back. I'm a little low right there. I'll take that mud, throw it up there. Scraping it. Look at that. All right, three brick per scoop. I don't know what you can do, but that's what I do. Same thing. Sometimes you have to bring it back, play with it a little bit, try to cover the whole brick. And yeah. Oh no. Whatever. I like to lay from the other way, so I'm on the other side. You take that, do that. Make sure you get that nice and tight. So now that I know I have a lot of mud on there, so I squeeze that joint. Notice how I'm crooked, right? I'm trying to match that up and push it in and match the bottom up that line. I can reuse my mud. 
I know my joints are tight, so I can just keep doing that across there. So push it to the line. Oh, not that time. Squeezing, rolling it right to the line. Now if this hurts your fingers, you can just use the palm of your hand like that and push it down. And that's pretty much it. You just keep doing this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Oh, here's a tip. All right, notice that? Okay, so when I scrape away here this time, I'll show you. So push your brick in, a little tight again. When you put scrape away, notice the angle of my trowel. If you just try to like go straight like this, you'll you'll rub it. You gotta keep an angle on it and slice it away. And that way you don't make a mess of the face of your brick. Alright. Now that I know I'm good with my height over on the wall. I gotta move the string line up. So now on the pole, we're gonna go up. I usually like to go two courses, one or two courses. Six and six. And then you know where to move that string line to. You do the same thing over here. I know I'm good to my lines off of there. And we're gonna put this one right on this side so we know where we're at. All right, so one little tip is, if you gotta, if you're, your line, right? If you gotta come down, right? You're just gonna cheat it down a little bit. To lose our, this is perfect anyway. So say we had to lose some height you would just mark it a little bit below the six and squeeze your joint down. If you had to pick up, like your brick were too low, you would just mark a little bit above. But we're right on our sixes, going all the way up to the, from the top. So six, six, we're good to go. And you just put your line right up on your six. And it should be Right where it needs it to be. Yep. Now do the same thing over here. Move this up to your red mark. No more level work. Now you can just go right up and lay as fast as you can. Okay. Every five or six courses, you're gonna want to put these things in. They're called wall ties. So all I do, since I know the other wall, I just bend them in half like this, and that uh, overlaps it. I like to put them right in the joint instead of like not in the head joint. Like I always put them right where it's gonna be mud on top and another brick. And I go like every two brick, right? Put them down. And what that does is secures the, the wall, the brick to the wall. So I'm gonna take a screw gun and I like to keep them tight as well so the lower one right I'm gonna put this here screw that in that'll keep the brick tight to the or keep the brick from falling out of the wall because if you go up so high right you go up so high and the bottom breaks the whole wall could just fall over you don't want that so this keeps it secure to the wall. You go every five courses, tight, and you'll be good then. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, laying brick. I mean, now we're just gonna go all the way up. You know, once we get up so high, we gotta move those poles up, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you got any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, thanks for watching.